Good morning, you guys. So for this week's video, I thought I would take you guys along with me on kind of a typical day in my life during summer when we're all stuck at home and just kind of share with you guys how I have been staying motivated and keeping busy and inspired during this crazy time. It is currently like 7.45. I have been up for a little bit. I have been loving waking up early. I just feel a lot better about my day if I wake up at an earlier time versus a later time, you know? And I'm just about ready to change to work out. I have been obsessed with my morning workouts. Highly recommend great way to start the day. I'm gonna change and then get going with that. you guys saw and now it's almost 10 o'clock and for like 45 minutes or so I want to get out and lay outside in the hammock listen to a podcast and just get some sun because the sunshine has been helping with my mental health lately so I'm gonna change and turn on a podcast and just relax outside for a bit changed and got ready for the day i just feel 10 times more productive when i'm showered have some jewelry on put on actual clothes like i don't know my attitude towards the day is just completely different that is definitely a must for me i need to somewhat get ready every day if i want to do something of anything you know very broad but you get what i mean being in california summer is super hot so i'm just wearing this tank top from brandy and these shorts from paxson i didn't show you guys this morning but the first thing i did after opening up my blinds was fill out my daily spread i like to go through life with a goal and a plan and clear intentions and this just helps me do that on like a very micro scale, you know, just on the daily. I've said this before in other videos, this is not my layout. I stole this from Lauren Everts because it's just the best thing ever and works really well for me. Today I've already worked out and got outside so I can cross those two things off the list. I need to work on some content creation for the health and wellness Instagram account that I do graphics for with my friend Liz who you guys know from other videos I also have been doing some freelance work So I need to send my clients their video through Dropbox and if I'm feeling it I may do a collage on Photoshop 
as you can tell, I am very motivated and energized by having a list and a clear plan for the day. So that is honestly the secret to how I have been staying productive and busy. Before I start creating content for the day, I need some food because it is 12.30 already and I need lunch. Just finished lunch. I am now uploading my video that I edited for my freelance work to Dropbox. So I will get that to my clients. That feels so weird to say <laughs> sometime today. I can cross that off the list and I have a few things to do for Bloom content. So I think I'm going to work on that. Probably play some music. My all time essentials for creating graphics are blue light glasses, kombucha, and a good playlist, so let's get to work. So it's like five o'clock now and I am done for the day with content creation and graphics and editing and all of that stuff. I sent over a video to my clients and then I created three Instagram posts on Photoshop for Bloom. And then I spent a really long time, I think pretty much like an hour on Pinterest looking for and saving pictures for a collage that I'll probably do in the next day or two for Bloom as well. So overall, today was pretty productive. One tip that I have for not burning yourself out with a hobby or work or school or anything, really honestly, is to time block. So even though I'm home all day and I could work on content and graphics and videos anytime I want, I kind of keep a schedule and keep like specific work hours for myself and I feel like that helps a ton. I love time blocking. I've been doing it forever. Honestly, since freshman year, since I've been doing online school, I've been doing it and it just works the best for me. So I've kind of carried that over into like YouTube and graphic design and video editing too. So yeah, highly recommend. That is honestly, I think how I'm not burnt out, but at the same time still getting stuff done is through time blocking and staying focused for like a few hours and then just shutting work, creative, YouTube content brain off and just being able to relax for the rest of the day, you know? As for right now, I think I'm gonna like watch some YouTube, maybe read a chapter or two of my book and just kind of decompress and relax until dinner. <laughs> a lot later now. I finished dinner and was just like talking, hanging out with family for a bit. It's now like 8.30 and I was like watching YouTube and I kind of have this idea to do like this overlay for my video and I know it won't take me long to create so I thought I would just mess around in Photoshop for a little bit and do that. Obviously you guys know I love time blocking as I talked about it earlier but this won't take long to execute and I'm in the mood and motivated to do it right now. So I mean, why not? So yeah, I think I'm gonna do that right now and then just relax for the night and just wind down. Mm -hmm. 